Hello, my name is Mohammad Hassan. I am a UX designer, UI designer, and also I was a web developer. Now, why I am doing this video? Because I think most of the uh, web designers or UI designers these days, they don't have any clue about coding uh, or CSS or HTML. So I'm going to, you know, create a series or maybe a course on, uh, you know, HTML or CSS for designers or web development for designers. Now, uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you just a few simple tips and few of the things like box model, uh, which a lot of designers don't know. Now, uh, here we have uh, the box model. So let's get to the screen. So this is called CSS box model, CSS for cascading style sheets. Style sheets are actually um, you can see the the butter uh, bread and butter of your whole uh, design all the colors like you can see these buttons its shape its color its size everything is specified with CSS okay so uh, CSS is going to hold most of the styling okay so everything how the spacing should be uh, what should be the top margin bottom margin paddings everything is going to be in the CSS. Now, this is very famous model. This is called CSS box model. Now, box means whenever you, you are designing something, most of the things you design uh, when you are designing websites, for example, like you can see over here, it is going to be a box. Like you can see over here, this is actually a box. Now you can see here, uh, it also shows you the box model. L you can see the content size is actually this 260 by 186 so, so 260 is actually uh, i think the width and height is 186 now next is whenever your content is like you can see here we have the content now on the sides of it we have padding uh, so you can see on the right we have 36 44 36 44 so this is actually the padding so this is called box model. Now you have to understand how this box model uh, is actually uh, in appearance. So first is content, then outside is padding, and then it's border. Border is outside the padding. So you can see here we have the padding and the border is around it, okay? So I have applied a border. You can see over here, here we have border radius six, background this, box shadow uh, this is actually the shadow i have applied to it it is called box shadow dash shadow in css this is actually whole css code now you can see here we have specified padding you can see here we have height padding is top and bottom so we normally use one and one so here we have top and bottom 44 pixels 36 pixels on the right and left okay so this is what you need to understand. Whenever you are designing, you need to know that the content is going to have padding around it and then it is going to be the border and then outside of the border, we have the margin. Okay, so margin is actually the spacing. Uh, uh, so if some element is uh, above it or on the right side or left side, like you can see over here. So in this case, the margin on the right is this. 36 okay so this is actually the margin on the right of this so if i have a margin on the top like you can see 64 i can set this or i can set margin bottom for this this heading at the top so uh, this heading could have a margin bottom i normally tend to use margin bottom mostly so uh, this is margin outside of the whole border and padding and everything the content the whole box and uh, inside it we have uh, border first then padding then the content okay so if you browse any website uh, let's uh, try to see this one okay so if we try to uh, if we want to see how this has been done right click inspect and I'm going to click this okay so here we have the layout box so, and we have, I think there was grid. Yeah, okay, so here we have the box model. You can see each 
thing is going to have a box model. So I'm going to hover on it. You can see uh, the content size is 1280 by 346. Then we have the padding around it. At the top and bottom, we have 64, 64. Then we have, there is no border, so border is zero. Then we have the margin. Margin is also set to zero right now. So if we go above, uh, you can see, let's try to see. This is the full section pricing grid. So, okay, okay, so you can see this is actually the box model here. So why I'm showing you the box model because it is a very, very important concept. A lot of designers, they don't know that the border is around the padding and then the margin is outside. So this is how it is going to be in the CSS or in the HTML, it is going to be rendered like this, okay? So uh, this is a simple way of knowing and learning HTML and CSS and how you can see, I have actually turned on this develop dev mode and you can see my code is in actually CSS and uh, here is the box model. So you can see it is also showing me 36 on the right, which is basically my margin. Okay. So here it has, it is showing me the image. Uh, I will make more videos about it, maybe about the colors like you can see over here, RGBA colors, hexadecimal and all that we can use and when you have to use RGBA, uh, I love to use them. Um, so this is about box model. I hope you have understood uh, the basic CSS box model for designers and whenever you design something make sure that you can talk to your developer like this is padding, this is border and this is the margin around it and this is the content size. So, so, so they instantly know that you, you have learned something or you know everything. Okay. So um, that is all. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. I will see you soon in another video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.